Hello friends and welcome to another episode here on the channel. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. And in today's episode, we're going to be continuing on with our VGC 2021 content featuring a team based all around Galarian Articuno. So the team, as you can see on your screen, is made up of that Kanto Raichu, Galarian Articuno, Glastria, Tapu Fini, Incineroar and Cartana. There will be a poker paste down in the description below. And as always, we'll throw a rental code up at the end of the episode if you guys want to try this team out for yourselves. So without further ado, let's jump onto the ladder and test this out, let's get some games and we'll be able to talk through some of the mods in the team and how it functions and what we're looking at. So first things first, ignore the headband. I've got, I'm, it's late, it's late. It's like, it's like half, half 12 and it's, I've, I've got the worst hair. So ignore the hairband. It's in there for a reason and <laughs> I'm sure you can see past it. It's fine. Okay, so we got Yuki up first and uh, playing a team of Tapu Fini, Rillaboom, Porygon 2, Indeedee Female, Alola Marowak and Galarian Moltres. Okay, well, we got a few things to think about here. Galarian Moltres is obviously one of the big things here. The redirection from the Ndidi as well makes it a little bit tricky for us to function, but we do have methods around things. I mean, the Articuno does struggle against Galarian Moltres for sure. It's always going to be one of those Pokemon it doesn't really like to, to kind of face down against. Um, but we do have Glastria that can come in and do some work. So if we can get a Trick Room up, maybe with our Articuno, we can go for the Glastria mode. Uh, it's definitely an option. Um, I think we definitely need Incineroar in this match. It helps us out a bunch against uh, just the Intimidate support against the Alola Marowak, the Rillaboom. Also, the Dark type is quite nice as well for switch-ins for Moltres and obviously the Ndidi, any, any expanding forces and things like that. Um, we do need a Trick Room, so we're going to have to go Trick Room mode. I think Glastria is a, a Pokemon that we need and probably Tapu, Tapu Fini or Cartana. I, I feel like Tapu Fini is probably a little bit more solid for us. So we're kind of benching Articuna in this first one, which is a little bit of a shame because it was the centerpiece of the team. But you're, you're going to get matches like this if you're playing this team. So it's good to look at the other mods and the, how the, the team functions outside of just the Articuna. You can't always rely on just one Pokemon every game to uh, come and do work unless it's called Tapu Fini or Incineroar. Or maybe Metagross. Maybe. There's a few, but Articuno definitely not one of those Pokemon. It's probably why it's not commonly seen, but it does have a lot of functionality. So what we're going to do here, uh, we've got the Ndidi, the Moltres. And because the Moltres is actually flying, we can actually fake it out here. Uh, whether or not we want to, um, that's another thing. Because we could potentially see ourselves... Um, be kind of subjected to them maxing going for help and hand into Articuno turn one which would not be ideal and um, we might be better off just preserving Articuno for later on in this game and actually what are we doing we need to uh, we need to parting shot into the Moltres and then switch into our Tapu Frini get rid of the psychic terrain and just kind of soak up this potential dark type attack that will be coming out from it because I'd imagine that's what my opponent's probably trying to do. They they, they know that our, our best mod is going to be with the, the Glastria and Trick Room. And I'm sure they're well aware that Articuno does have access to Trick Room. So I think they're probably going to go all in here. Avoid the fake out, max, and just go for a big attack. Now, if they go for a nasty plot here, we are in a little bit of trouble. But we can approach each turn as it comes. We'll just see what my opponent does. There's the follow me. They're going to go for a nasty plot. We could have went for a trick room. I can't believe this. I can't actually believe this. We could have just went for a trick room. I think the right play here would have been helping hand attacking into Articuno. But regardless of that, um, we're not seeing it. So we're going to see a nasty plot and we're going to be able to get something onto the field. I mean, we can get Glastria onto the field and then potentially switch back into Incineroar. Um, but we're going to have to try and calm mind with Tapu Fini here. Um, we got all in. That's the other option. We could potentially go Icicle Crash into Moltres and try and make room for Tapu Fini here and go for a calm mind. Now, if they... they the problem is Icicle Crash will proc a weakness policy. 
um, but we're likely to see follow me anyway. But we've got to put some pressure on this Moltres. It's just got the nasty plot up for basically nothing. I cannot believe that we could have just got a trick room up so freely there. It's our own fault for not going for it. But when you look at a turn and you look at the most logical kind of plays that your opponent could make, you kind of try and make the, the kind of next best guess. But sometimes it doesn't always work out like that. And people think differently as well, don't they? So that's that's one of the things you've got to think about. Ah, I could have just faked out. Never mind. Never mind. We're going to see the, the Moltres Max. It's likely to maybe go into Taprofini here to remove it. There's a helping hand. Yep. We do get the Calm Mind up first, so that's that's good. That's good. Okay. Or well, at least we know we're faster than the Moltres. So that's some decent information. It is Airstream. I'll be into the Finny. Yeah. That'll proc our Citrus Berry. But we are going to proc a Weakness Policy as well. Which is not going to be ideal. We maybe should have Max Glastria here. But the Icicle Crash should still do a decent chunk of damage. Yeah, it takes it down to 50%. So we're not in the worst position uh now the moltres will outspeed us the next turn and they do have access to follow me now but where do they direct their attention to i think we could probably get away with bringing in incineroar maxing tapu finny could we go for a star for i just feel like we're gonna get yeah, I don't think we max. I think we go for another Calm Mind. <clears throat> I think you go after Glastria here. I don't think you can leave the Glastria unchecked. And the Tapu Fini right now, from my opponent, logically speaking, is is in a, a bad spot. So it would make sense for us to protect it. So playing on that, you go after the Glastria that can chunk you. Even though you do have redirection support. There's a nice stream. Oh, it's after the Finny again. Okay. Just chasing down that Finny. Well, we kind of need a board position where we've got... Where we've got Articuno out next to Incineroar and they haven't got their max turns anymore. Should we just try for the Trick Room? I think that that, that, that is literally our best bet, I think. Let's just try for a Trick Room. We actually got the trick room. <laughs> this is actually nuts. Okay, well, I mean, I really don't understand what my opponent's doing here. Do they just not realize that we've got access to trick room? And now their turns end, so we can max. They're still going to do a chunk of damage to us. Um... But we do have the ability to... Um, it's tricky because we want to get rid of the Ndidi, really. Uh, we're going to max Hailstorm into that and do a Hurricane as well. I don't really want to lose Articuno this turn. And I feel like Moltres does attack. I think it's like plus 5 as well, so it's going to hit like a truck. Especially with help and hand support. But if they go help and hand, then they get punished and they lose their Moltres and then this game's back on so unless they make a royal cock up of this next turn I don't like hmm I don't know I don't know it's gonna be very difficult for us to bring this back but we'll see we will see so there's our protect there's a redirection. It makes sense to utilize that. We'll be able to get rid of the Ndidi the next turn. And potentially, potentially. Let's see how much damage this does. That's ideal. Okay, we get rid of it now. That's perfect. Okay, that is what we want. Critical hit. We'll take it all day long. And the Hailstorm will get rid of it after this turn. Um, 
what's the Moltres gonna do? Fairy Wrath, yep. And let's see how much damage this does. It's gonna sting, it's gonna sting. Okay, not so bad actually, not so bad. We can, we like, Glastria is just a tank. Okay, the Indeedy gone, thank goodness. Right, what's coming in? I wonder if a Hurricane would be enough to take that thing down. Like, Articuno is pretty strong. So it might, it might be able to. Let's see. But what comes in? Okay, Taprofini. It's not... It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. I mean, we could just target the, the Moltres. With a max hail. It's probably going to protect here. It's probably going to protect. Um, and we could go Freezing Glare. Now, we're not going to be able to freeze the Finny. Because that's a secondary effect. But... We'll get some decent damage onto it. Maybe put it in range for Max Quake the, the following turn. And then my opponent down to... Two, uh, well, maybe, maybe their last two. If we can get rid of the Moltres here, that would be huge. Can't believe we could have just literally done this turn one as well. Ah, <sighs> Tapu Finney's protecting. Oh, Sucker Punch. Okay, well that's fine. That procs our weakness policy. We like that. <clears throat> we'll take that all day long. And then next turn we max Quake into the Finny, get a special defense boost so we can take an attack with our Articuno and then fire off an attack ideally into whatever their last Pokemon is. We get the chilling air boost as well, which is very useful. Um, and the freezing glare into the protect on the Finny. Okay, so that's fine. Let's see, how have we how have we pulled this one back? I have no idea. Okay, and it's left over Finny. Well, we still got turns of our trick room left, and one more turn of our max. So what's coming in? Oh, it's Marwak. <laughs> okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. we have to go after the Marwak. We have to. Which means that we may be... How many turns of our trick room left? Because I feel like Articuno... Ah, uh, two. Okay. If we can get a chilling near boost. It's just I feel like the Marowak protects here. That's the thing. And where do you go off your Tapu Fini? It's probably bulky, so we may survive. Articuno might survive an attack. I'm going to go after. I'm going to go after the Finny. I'm going to go just straight after it. Yeah, I thought you'd protect. But we do get the special defense boost. So that kind of helps us out a bit. And we're still going to be in Trick Room. So, this would have been better into the Finny. I mean, that does a, a phenomenal amount of damage anyway. So we're kind of all right. Crit. Okay. This Glastra is like, just... Annoyed at the situation from the start of the match. Just like, let's get this done. There's a calm mind. Okay, well, as long as this does, I mean, my opponent's not really pressuring us. That's the problem. Like, I think. Freezing glare. This is coming off plus two. So, let's see what this does. Respectable. We'll be able to get the Finny the next turn, I think. So, we can just protect. Protect Otakuno and then um, target the Marowak and that will do the job. Yeah. Because this is the last turn, like, the trick room ends this turn. So we will go high horsepower into Marowak and did we go before? Um, no, we went after the Finny. They call minded first. Uh, let's just protect. Let's just protect here. Because they could attack us. And we can't boost ourselves anymore. Um, and then a freezing glare plus potentially the chip damage of the hail. Potentially. I don't know. But they're going to attack with Finny here, I think. I'm hoping they go Moonblast into Articuno. That would be, that would be the ideal situation. 
and they're kind of in a situation where they need to protect Marowak, but it's it's risky. It's risky. So no protect from the Marowak. We're gonna protect Articuno. Uh, high horse part does connect. Thank goodness for that. I mean, the other play would have been maybe going after the um, going after the Tapu Fini here. Okay, they moon blast just like we wanted. Okay, and we're in an, a phenomenal spot now where we can just go freezing glare and go for a high horsepower, and we should be able to close this one up. There's a the dimension turn back to normal, and we don't want to trick room again. Not now. It's all high horsepower, and I don't know how. Like I've said, friends, I don't know how. I don't know how this has happened. Okay, there's the protect stalling out. <laughs> um, I don't know what good that's gonna do. It's just delaying the inevitable by at least a turn. Um, but we'll we'll continue. The hail does stop, so they'll be able to get a little bit more health back every turn. But we'll just lock in the same, and that should, like I say pending any disasters this should finish up the game pretty nicely for us and it's nice actually this first one we get to see Galarian Articuno even though it was a pretty tough matchup with the the uh, the Moltres um our opponent kind of just let us set up so you know like we discussed the turn one Articuno avoids perfect now we are Plus one, I think, so we should. Maybe, yeah, we take that with Glastria. It's just such a tank. There's a high horsepower for the win. The horse does not want to give up. There we go. Good game to my opponent. And, um, yeah, I mean, we said turn one. We, like, I kind of went through why I made the decision. And I think, logically, it made sense. Uh, the the Moltres was threatened from the, 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 from the fake out, you know, to prevent a potential nasty plot. So, in that situation... I don't know, they must have just not suspected the Trick Room at all. It didn't make sense that they didn't attack into the uh, Articuno. So just beware that Articuno carries Trick Room. It's like it's third most used move, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, we will move on. Okay, we got our next opponent up playing a team of Galarian Zapdos, Dusclops, Sylvian, Regielecki, Urshifu and Primarina. Now, could we get away with the Raichu Articuno lead? It'd be nice to feature that at least once on this episode. I think we'll go for it. Um, just because it's kind of the centerpiece of the team. We haven't really featured this mode yet. So I'd like to do that. We've got to be a bit wary about the Trick Room mode for sure with the Dusclops. It supports the Primarina pretty well. I am going to bring Glastria to this map. Do I bring Glastria? Hmm. Yeah, I think if the Trick Room goes up, it's going to be like invaluable to us. And then maybe... Tapu Fini because Tapu Fini can calm mind can kind of other than Regieleki it can kind of deal with most stuff on my opponent's team so we'll go with that uh, the Sylvian scares me a little bit but I think we'll be alright I think we'll be alright so let's see if we can get this mode set up with Raichu Articuno to kick us off with today be interesting to see what my opponent leads with. It's probably going to be something like Urshifu and Regilecki, if I'm guessing. There we are. There it is. Shiny Regilecki as well. Very nice. It's a nice shiny. Very nice shiny. Um. Okay. Now, I think we got the option where we could potentially go for... Hmm... Probably fake out into Urshifu and go max airstream into that slot. We could potentially go Trick Room as well, which would then give us the speed jump on Articuno. Does my opponent really have to? Mm, they do have pretty good Trick Room ones. Do we just take the opportunity to max Articuno now and go after the Urshifu? I think we maybe don't, you know. I think we maybe just go Hurricane and keep our max for later with the Glastria, you know. I think the red... Oh my gosh. Are they going to max the Urshifu here? <laughs> okay, well, here we go. 
it's what we like to see we should have uh, maxed ourselves okay I oh, didn't expect this it's not G max Urshifu so and Reggie Alecki protecting huh it's interesting we definitely needed to nuzzle there and there's a max darkness and this will be the end of our Raichu huh what okay that's that's kind of that, that I don't get that okay well I guess that you want to get rid of the huh you want to get rid of the Raichu but how much damage is this hurricane gonna do too much hmm <laughs> How do you like them meatballs, eh? Urshifu? Hmm. I can understand the logic of wanting to get rid of that Raichu, but at the same time, you gotta you got to worry about the trick room being set up. Um okay, well. Zapdos gonna come in now. Now we can airstream. We could just vault switch out onto the um onto the onto the Zapdos and Max. We could just trick room as well. Could just trick room. Because what's the Zapdos going to do to Articuno? I don't think really anything. Um, yeah, we trick room. Let's trick room and get Glastria onto the field. I know this team's about the... Uh, okay, the Electro Web. We'll take this. Because <clears throat> it's not specs. Okay. It might be able to take us down. It may do. I think you've got to concentrate down onto the right you though. You've got to concentrate onto the right you. <laughs> we might not want to bring in uh, Glastria just yet. We might want to. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we. Okay. I didn't expect us to knock knock out the Zapdos. How did? How did? What is going on? What is going on in this game? Uh, I have no words. I have no words. I don't know how we took down the Zapdos. Zapdos surely isn't like Raichu plus one isn't that strong. That's a Zapdos. The Galarian Zapdos gives the Kanto Zapdos a real bad name. Anyway, we get our trick room up. So we're in a, 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 a beautiful spot right now. Uh, well, I say that, you know, you've got the Dusclops to contend with, but I mean. We're kind of all right, aren't we? We're kind of all right. Let's go after the Dusclops, double down onto it. Because the Regieleki is going to protect. As we see, the battle cancelled. So I feel like we can probably do one more. I don't know what happened in that game, but uh, I'm as confused as you are, friends. But we'll hop into another one. I uh, will try and find another opponent and get another one started as soon as possible. Okay, we got Maverick up next. Good old Maverick playing Lander, Ethereum, Vanillux, Rotom Wash, Zapdos, Incineroar, and Chandelure. So, I feel like we could go for this combination again. And I think we will do that with... Hmm, what, what are we going to have in the back? I think Incineroar is very useful in this match. Maybe Cortana is our last one. Uh, puts a lot of reliance. Hmm. Zapdos is pretty tricky to deal with. So we need to keep Raichu around as long as possible. Because otherwise it would be Glastria. I mean Glastria in a trick room situation would be amazing. Um, I'd worry about the Chandelure a little bit. Because Cartana does well against Rotom Heat. Uh, Rotom Wash. That's the problem. Like our Rotom Wash matchup is pretty... Maybe Incineroar isn't even worth bringing here. Maybe Cortana and... Um, Cortana and Glastria, I think. That's what we'll go for. Yeah. I mean, Incineroar is nice to give us Intimidate support, Fake Out support. But... I think we need to try and cover things a little bit better than what we would have done with just Incineroar, Cortana in the back. I don't think it puts so much reliance on like Articuno to kind of get set up and start doing like the damage we needed to. Okay, what are we gonna see? Zapdos Vanillux, huh? That's a nice lead. 
There's a snow warning. Well, the Zapdos is kind of pinned here, in all honesty. Although, the Vanillax can't really... I mean, the Vanillax can attack. Uh, what we could potentially do is just fake out the Vanillax. Go for the Max Airstream into it. The Zapdos is kind of... It's not really able to do very much here. I mean, it can Heat Wave. It can Airstream as well. But I think the fact that my opponent isn't maxing first indicates that they're probably not maxing their Pokemon. So we need to try and get a bit of an advantage early on if we can. So let's see if we get this fake out, which we do. And the Airstream. That puts us... Yeah, we're faster than Zapdos as well, which is interesting. Okay, well... That's fine, because a Brutal Swing will pick up the Vanillax the next turn. So even if it's sashed, uh, scarfed, we, we pick up the, the knockout onto it. Ooh, Zapdos, go and discharge. Oh, that's dangerous. Dangerous. Dangaroos. Okay, well, Articuna takes that. And it does proc our weakness policy, which is exactly what we need here. But... The discharge is a little bit awkward. Um, we should be able to take down the Zapdos the next turn. If it doesn't max, that is. It could max. But then if it maxes, it's kind of locked into not being able to go for the discharge. Um, and I think we what we probably want to do is... Hmm. Okay. Well, we have to go after the Zapdos now. I can't afford... Ah, uh, do we, 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 what do we do? Do we go after the Landorus? Do we go after the Landorus? Hope that we, can. yeah, I think we go after the Landorus. And I think we'll just go for a nuzzle into the Zapdos. We should take another discharge. Let's go for a Mindstorm. Zapdos is going to max here, I think. Okay, it's Landorus. Has it got the Assault Vest? But we are plus four right now. So I still think we should be able to take the Landorus down. There's a cheeky old nuzzle. We've got to keep Raichu on the field. Hopefully this takes the Landorus down. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Articuno doing all the all the work. Right, and Zapdos going to go for another discharge. I'd imagine, which we should take. The only worry is obviously the paralysis here. Because uh, discharge got quite a high power chance. But Raichu taking these boosts and doing a nice job with it. So, we do take it just about. And no paralysis, which is perfect. Okay. So, whatever comes out onto the field now, we'll be able to get rid of the Zapdos. Or we'll just we'll just see what comes out, and then we can kind of take it from there. Okay, it's going to be the Incineroar. Um, we've got Glastria and Cortana in the back. I think we're going to be alright against Incineroar. Yeah, we're going to be fine, aren't we? We're going to be super fine. Super fine. Uh, we'll go after the Zapdos now. We'll go for a Volt Switch into the Incineroar. Uh, go for a... Yeah, Mindstorm into Zapdos. The Incineroar can't fake out the Raichu here. And the battle was cancelled. Okay, well, I tried to fit in another one to kind of bump up this episode. But... Um, it was a very quick one as well. But, you know, we're getting to see how good the, the Articuna can be in certain situations, which is really good. So we will now jump over and grab you guys the rental code for this team. Okay, friends, here is the rental code. As I said earlier in the episode, the poker piss is down in the description. There's the rental code. If you want to try this team out for yourselves, be my guest. And I hope you have a lot of fun with it. If you do, this wraps up today's episode. We've got to see a bunch of the team kind of function pretty well. We've had three games, one really decent one and two very short ones but i 
suppose the the shorter ones do show the explosive nature of this team and the the pairing of Raichu and Glaring Articuno which I believe is pretty nice so I hope you have a lot of fun like I say with it if you've enjoyed today's episode do consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel and drop a like if it, you've got two seconds and you have enjoyed today's episode that's all I ask and it would be very much appreciated so thanks as always for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you all for another episode very soon so until then take care and bye bye